Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be opening here a Bakugan product. This is uh, a Bakugan Evolutions uh, era one. So this is basically Bakugan season four. Definitely fantastic because I've been meaning to actually get these here. Uh, but the thing is, um, you know, mostly these would go at retail price. And normally I don't really feel comfortable paying for uh, retail for most things. So with that being said, I just waited until there was a bit of a clearance going on or any kind of sale for some kind of special time. And this just always happens in big department stores, which is pretty much the only place you can actually buy back a gun anyway. So with that being said, it was definitely uh, well worth it to get this for a bit of a bargain, uh, just 20% off retail, which is uh, still quite a great deal here. But uh, being Bakugan Evolutions, it has definitely evolved to the point where we are starting to see a lot of different things. One of the most notable of things is actually uh, some color changes, or rather the change in color hue. You're getting slightly offset colors, and I don't really know how I feel about this. While it's nice, it adds in diversity, and they're going for a bit of a change here. I do feel like it's kind of uh, heading into that direction where it's starting to become more of a novelty rather than some sort of, you know, collector's uh, item. And I mean, that kind of makes sense because this is uh, a really young target audience that uh, the company is going for. But uh, with that being said, the game of Bakugan is mostly trying to uh, get a lot of old veteran players back as well you know so it's really not necessarily helping when you're pushing these new color changes here or at least the change in hue which is something that uh, seems a bit off I mean it doesn't look like green anymore it looks more like uh, this lime green which is uh, definitely really weird uh, the blue is a bit of a change as well and that is meant to be darkest and yet you get this translucent purpley look to it, which um, just doesn't look like the purple that you would normally see in Darkest. It's more of a pink color. So with that being said, it does feel almost like it's a knockoff, but it isn't. It is an official product uh, by Spin Master and officially a Bakugan product. However, this here is the Battle Strike uh, pack, which you get a uh, your four Bakugan, but then you get these two Nano Bakugan as well. So, in this one, we get our, our familiar names here. We get Nilius uh, and we get Hydras, but we also have Titan King and Blitzfox, which is uh, ones that I haven't heard of. But we also get the two little ones here, which is a Darkest Nano Scorcher, so that way you know it's a, you know, it's a uh, Darkest. But then this here is actually uh, surprisingly meant to be a Pyrus. Bakugan, which is weird because it looks like it's Aurelus, you know, but uh, this one is Nano Riptide, so very unfamiliar at this point because things have definitely changed. I haven't necessarily kept up with it, so seeing this, it's definitely really changed up everything. I mean, I can't even begin to um, imagine where I should start opening it, but let's just give it a go and let's just see how... Uh, things turn out so there's a bit of tape all over the place here and I'm just trying to get these all opened up in some kind of manner uh, you know, this is a big chunky box so uh, I still did wish that Bakugan uh, did a bit more improvements in terms of packaging because you really don't need all that empty space around here it's really unnecessary and it's just not good for the environment ultimately but uh you know these are products that we obviously want to buy uh so with that being said i'm still gonna buy it but it's just uh something that could definitely improve uh in what they're actually doing here so i'm just gonna pry out to everything and we'll just see what happens So for our cores, we have here a 600B power, so I'm just going to focus up close here. 600B power, 500B power, uh, plus 250 and plus 3 damage, 
um, plus 300 plus 3 damage plus 300 and minus 300 so yeah really nice uh, just a bit standard there nothing too significant nothing too special got our guide on probably how to close up these uh, ultra bakugan which is uh, you know just always fun to have there uh, but we also have these over here as well so if I bring them up close it should be really clear we have our gate cards these are all metal by the way you know really nice looking all good there um, yeah just loving that they actually bring back the gate cards something I uh, find to be uh, just quite a nostalgia kick to be honest uh, when they start doing things like that uh, but over here we have our Titan King we have our Hydras which is an Aurelis I see here uh, we have Blitz Fox um, we have our Nano Riptide we have our Nano Scorcher and we have our Platinum Nilius uh, which is really awesome by the way but uh, with that being said uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how these Nanos work because uh, I'm still unsure as to how they necessarily work in this case. Hopefully the rulebook will say a few things and I'm keen to find out. But uh, perhaps you guys already know this anyway, uh, so it won't be too long until I figure it out as well. But uh, this will definitely be quite fun. Uh, maybe they can somehow attach themselves to the Bakugan, but I have no idea at this particular point in time. Uh, it's still too early to say. But with that being said, let's now take a look at the actual back gun themselves. So I'm just going to carefully try to get them out of these uh, particular tapes here. Alright, so I must admit that was definitely quite the challenge to actually get this all out. I actually can't believe their target audience is so young and yet they expect them to actually open all this up. I mean it requires an actual knife to like cut these particular uh, plastic strings just to get them out and even then you have to pry it out of plastic. It's just not good for the environment with the plastic and it's really just uh, dangerous as well honestly. I feel like the packaging definitely has to be improved a lot so Hopefully uh, that does come to mind there for them, but uh, with that being said, we have our interesting different Bakugan here. This here is our Titan King, um, a really interesting design, that's for sure. Uh, you can actually see these notches here, kind of reminds me of those uh, Bakugia that we actually had earlier in uh, Geogun Rising, or maybe even previous to that. Uh, but that was definitely really good. That was a fantastic idea because I loved how they could actually equip the Baku Gear Tour and just increase the B power. In this particular case, it's trying out uh, some kind of different form of attack here. So that's, it seems to open up in such a weird way that I honestly have no clue what I'm doing here. And it's quite frightening to be honest. Uh, so I really don't want to break it. But yeah. That's pretty much how much I can open it right now. Really can't do anything else about it. But uh, still, it looks really amazing, you know. I mean, design-wise, it's nice. But uh, this is definitely falling into a very complex category here. Uh, but with that being said, maybe it's just because I'm an old man and it makes it much more difficult for me to figure things out here. Um, you know. But with that being said, this here is Hydras. Definitely a really awesome product, of course. Uh, or this particular Bakugan, uh, one of my favorites. Yeah, just really cool. Uh, the Aurelis designing is definitely really weird here, but uh, you know, it's not going to be like that much of a deal breaker. Uh, yeah, really cool here. Can't seem to find the B power, it should be hidden somewhere. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit hard to read, but it's hidden there. The text is almost blended in, but that's 900 B power, so that's actually very solid. Uh, even for Aurelis, that's actually quite impressive to be honest. Um, so with that being said, let's put that aside. We have this here, which I really can't see how this here is actually a Pyrus uh, Bakugan. Because this kind of looks more like a Aurelis Bakugan, you know. But uh, you can actually see that that's actually a Pyrus symbol. Um, the symbols are actually quite hard to tell to be honest. Uh, just because they're not as coloured 
and this one could easily be uh, either pyrus or aurelis because it's not so much as a red color but it could be confused a bit as orange as well the camera makes it look red so the camera actually does help it out but even so the bakugan itself is something that resembles more of an aurelis bakugan but uh, next up we have over here our next one here which is a very interesting one uh, i love the design of this one this one is so unique and uh yeah it's amazing blitz fox i mean that is an absolutely fantastic design i mean just look at how detailed that is you know it just looks really nice and you don't really have to see it you just have to imagine it if this was closed up into a ball and it opens up into this I mean, I think that's pretty amazing. So definitely uh, really well done here. But uh, you can see the B power for this one, 600, which is uh, okay, I guess, because green would use different things. But uh, yeah, the next Bakugan we have here is obviously our Nelius. This one is the one that I really love. Uh, you can see the notch just up here to attach. Again, still can't figure out where the attachment actually is for it, so yeah even if i can just figure out one of them that would be great but i honestly uh, just can't seem to find any kind of attachment in some sort of way I actually i might be able to see something here there you go seems like here's a bit of a small notch where you can simply just attach it on like so so that's something that might be what we're supposed to do with it so definitely really cool here I mean, it looks nice, but yeah, I mean, one notable thing is the fact that Evolutions is also going to be focusing more on metal, which is something that is very nice, honestly. So just feeling how heavy this is, I'm already really impressed. Makes it feel expensive in a sort of way, or it makes it feel almost like a premium product in a certain way, you know? So despite the color changes, the metal itself being real metal is definitely amazing. I mean, when I actually saw how Beyblade went about with their new products, the way they went about it is they created fake metal. It was essentially just plastic and you painted over this metallic paint over the actual plastic itself, making it look like metal, but it wasn't real metal. This is genuinely real metal. It's heavy and it really feels like you got your money's worth out of it. So definitely fantastic here. And I really hope they continue with this whole metal work here. It's definitely something that uh, is really going to push Bakugan to a more collectible standpoint. And that's something that I really want uh, Bakugan to uh, attain because this was something that kind of happened in the past where people still have the old Bakugan at least uh, a lot of the older audience does. But even then, to have it like this, definitely really amazing. So uh, yeah, I think Bakugan is going in really interesting directions. Not too fond of the color changes, but maybe it's just something we have to grow into. Maybe it's an acquired taste, but the metal is definitely working out for me. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. The way they combine with these now miniature Bakugan, I mean, I'm all for it, you know? It's not bad, it's not amazing, and personally, I prefer just the Baku Gears, but this is still something that they're still trying to push for a change here, so it's good to see that they're still putting a lot of innovation into their designs, especially how the Bakugan actually open up and close up. It's just really a great demonstration of uh, engineering in some sort of aspects and this is uh, definitely fantastic to encourage a younger audience into STEM so yeah it's very fantastic definitely well done there so yeah that was pretty much my take on this particular product uh, this was a really fun opening and I can't wait to uh, see more Bakugan from the evolutions line but definitely let me know what you guys actually thought about this and uh, yeah, hope to see you again in the next video, but thanks for joining me today. I'll see you all next time.